Hello there folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel, a place where I discuss different topics like spirituality, introspection, game interpretation and well many other things and I'd always prefer and you know I'd always like to add an extra opinion, an extra idea to what people may need to hear instead of you know uh, but instead of giving a full-fledged answer I'd rather stir some curiosity you know to make people want to seek for more instead of just giving them a flat answer that most likely people would take for granted now the point about this uh, is that this wisdom that I'm sharing is something that I always ask people not to take for granted because it all belongs to my own experiencing so you know it's not necessarily something that can apply to everyone the topic of today is uh, entities you know dimensional entities and whether people have been you know attacked by such beings such manifestations and you know there have been many situations on the internet that I read about and people said that especially after you know uh, whatever they were doing you know they had this period of sleep paralysis and you know there were some uh, entities that popped up out of nowhere and they would just move around them giving them the impression they would attack them or some people would try to astral project and they would see certain beings who would most likely get close to them and they would get scared and probably they would wake up and that would they would interpret that as a as a psychological you know kind of attack okay now the point about this is people do not understand necessarily the point of an entity attack now what an entity attack is is well there are some misunderstandings that people have to go through in order to understand uh, this topic of potential entities so as you might know there are probably millions of other you know parallel dimensions and each have their dwellers now in these dimensions okay these can be psychological mental dimensions and the such uh, some of your thought forms that you create especially self-sabotage and thoughts like that that you keep repeating those also can exist and don't be surprised but you will see if you have a certain level of awareness you can see a lot of entities surrounding you and these are simply fed by all the negativity that you have been you know providing yourself with and uh, you know pulling yourself down all kind of aspects like this and these entities belonging to other dimensions now many people have this uh, false sensation that all the other dimensions can see us right it kind of reminds it's kind of the same fear as that of being uh, pursued that of being monitored by some kind of you know all-seeing gods and you know this being doesn't have anything else to do rather than just monitor you and that kind of becomes problematic at a certain moment because you have the impression that these entities are actually you know watching you intently they're actually minding their own business in their own dimensions and well they live in that one single dimension that they are probably they have uh, probably they have parallel existences as well to a certain extent it might be even one of your parallel existences now these entities you know they exist in those dimensions okay in order to experience a certain dimension you can only experience that by having a body which is um, how to call it compatible with that much like when you play a video game you cannot experience that video game without the body that you have right the character that you play if you didn't have that character and the coding that would allow that player to uh, that playable character to become the avatar that you embody so that uh, you can experience that world you couldn't simply experience that world just like if you didn't have the body that you have now you couldn't experience the worlds that we are alive in and 
as long as you have a physical body and you know the body which you can experience this universe with you also have a mind and you also have a discernment there is the power to discern and this power is um, well your logics your control uh, depending on how you use your mind if you are stuck in concepts and such you have a lot of um, you know attachments most likely those attachments can cause some pain uh, even if you're most likely not aware of that and this pain draws some parasitic entities maybe and don't be surprised if you get to see some around you in your auric field and the such now when you awaken your higher chakras and even if you don't do that you might actually catch a glimpse of certain beings that can be around you now those beings don't necessarily see you because again they have their own senses and they exist within their own dimension just like you exist in yours most of them are just like most of the people around you and well probably just like you as well if you haven't awakened your third eye which i don't recommend because there are a lot of things to do before you open your third eye now the point about this is when this happens okay you catch a glimpse of other possible dimensions of the mind of the psyche whatever those entities simply are just like humans right let's say you uh, detach from your body and you're capable of wandering around and it's like you can peek on other people but you know they're simply too bots they're simply too low in their awareness that they won't simply see you but once you find someone who has some psychic potential they will probably turn their heads and they will know that you are there it happened once to me i was uh let's say viewed upon or spied upon by a psychological projection of someone who also conducted uh three attacks against me but each of those was a failure fortunately as I am protected by the universe in well certain to a certain extent I am also well I am protected by the universe not to a certain extent I'm just protected by the universe and it was just something that had to be experienced now just like this case in which you meet this psychic person and they are capable of realizing that you are looking at them there are these beings who can also have some capability of realizing that something else is bothering them now you have to take into account that depending on the dimension that these beings are in there are different rules or you know sets of perceptions they have uh, you know a different body a different dimension it doesn't have to be just like ours they have probably completely different senses compared to ours probably they have a magnetic sense because to me it seems to be a kind of generalized sense now this magnetic sense is something very generalized and it can have multiple sub functions uh, i don't know exactly how to put this into words but when you look at someone you're seeding some energy so that being if it's um you know sensitive it can realize that even by looking at that entity you are sending some energy towards it and you know that energy once it gets in contact with that it impacts with their auric field their you know manifestation and you know even in a large crowd right in a large group of people when someone looks at you you almost instinctively know where they are looking from or you have a slight idea depending on how aware you are of certain things usually women realize much faster if someone is looking at them and such beings can have such a similar sense now when you are very imbalanced and you know especially if your root chakra is not balanced if you are starting astral projection then you're not protected against fear and the moment you see something that is completely different you are probably going to produce a lot of fear now depending on the entities and the dimensions that you accidentally tap into 
also based on your vibration and if you start with a vibration of fear then you're gonna end up in a vibration of fear so you'll draw entities that will thrive from fear those beings you know when you manifest fear imagine that um, you're just walking around the street nothing special right a general day and suddenly there are some sparks or you suddenly see a ghost or something uh, uh, manifestation out of the ordinary and probably you get up the uh, you know the contour of an entity now depending on the type of human that you are most likely you will run away or probably you will just even attack that being now those beings will also or can also react in the same way they might actually run or if you have manifested fear uh, you're most likely gonna end up in a lower vibrational realm so those beings will actually feed upon fear now the moment you watch them it doesn't mean that they actually know you are watching them and if you manifest the slightest amount of fear that's suddenly like lunch to those because lower vibrational beings feed on different things like pain self-doubt sabotage and you know lack especially lack and as they do when you suddenly manifest fear it's suddenly they feel lunch around them what happens is uh, because of that fear your instincts kick in and your logic component is turned on which most likely will trigger your waking up now the reason why that being will suddenly come straight at you is not because it wants to attack you physically it doesn't want to necessarily attack you physically and honestly I doubt it can actually do that but it's just bent on feeding upon the fear that you have created because that's one reason why many beings are parasites at that vibration you have to understand that if you astral project and you are at a low vibration like fear and the such or shame worse than fear shame and guilt those beings are just low vibrational as well and at that low vibration those beings cannot be anything else than parasitic because they are bound to survival and survival is you know fear a very low vibration so expect to meet beings that will be simply waiting to feast on anything that causes fear now the reason why an entity would directly attack you not just you know feeding with whatever you're creating the reason why they would attack you is because they can technically can now what allows this attack is uh, actions that you have done namely karma now karma is something that many people misunderstand for sin because this a hideous manifestation of mankind called religion has kept Europe for more almost 2000 years in utter darkness with inquisition and you know uh, canceling and brutally oppressing every manifestation of freedom at least 1000 of years uh, Europe has been shut down towards any sort of evolution again this is this was something needed in the spiritual steps of evolution of us as a race and well so many beings have uh, managed to parasite us for a long time and managed well far beyond far before this uh, many beings have become capable of understanding how to bypass human resistances that is why when you manifest certain urges that you know they are not yours there might be such you know beings trying to hijack you or they're already in your auric field they're already connected to one of your dimensional bodies and the reason why you suddenly have those urges is because those beings are hungry and they're pushing their tentacles fingers extensions whatever against your body injecting those urges into you again that's why you have smokers who can't quit smoking people who you know suddenly they want to get drugged again and you know when you allow such parasites to exist upon you it's like you allow them to experience life through your body through your senses as well so being obsessed with wanting to experience more at a certain time they will have you experience that and you know they will make you um, want to 
they will force you or they will make you want to experience that certain thing again like uh, you know smoking or any other thing that is usually against you causes certain pain causes fear causes uh, loss of awareness and loss of awareness is very dangerous because it allows entities to almost freely enter your uh, system let's say uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it can happen there are levels of protection and the such but your memory okay your karma is what allows such beings to attack you such attacks can happen and some of them can actually be part of a contract that you have made and you know this may actually help cleanse some of the karma that you have acquired and all of these uh, possible situations now the karma is not sin okay many people have this misunderstanding that karma equals the sin right the uh, you know the black box that holds all the sins that you have made and based on that you will be severely judged no karma is just memory it is indeed a black box but it is actually a storage place of all the deeds and well if you want to go further misdeeds that you have accomplished all the thoughts all the ideas all the things the actions whatever now this memory is also of multiple types elemental memory it is evolutionary memory and all types of these uh, there are numerous types of memory um, over 10 of those I don't remember exactly I'm not uh, entrenched in such knowledge but I know a bit and this also holds you know the um, possibility for reaction to happen now what this means is each action has its own reaction. Uh, also take this as that quote that says whatever you do uh, be very mindful because there will also be repercussions. Okay, So if you abuse power, if you abuse certain people, if you do certain things, these things open you up for attacks because any abuse of power allows beings to attack you back because the moment you abuse power you do certain abuses against other people you open yourself up for that uh, as religion would say the shield of God is you know you're lowering it okay now these beings can actually attack you because of this most likely and these beings all uh, abide to certain rules of consciousness because the rule of free will this allows all these beings from attacking you Again, you are doing all sorts of things, uh, you are manifesting lower vibrational emotions, you don't trust yourself enough, all these things open you up for such uh, attacks. So if you ever got attacked by such entities, uh, in most of the situations you probably misunderstood that attack for a possible attack. Uh, those dark shadows that come and people have the impression that they're attacking them because of the sleep paralysis you're gonna create a lot of fear probably the moment you don't create any emotion technically speaking you don't react to, to any situation those beings won't simply do anything because what they want is basically a snack what they want is nothing else than a snack and again based if you detach from your body and you manifest metaphysical experiences based on your vibration you will attract specifically those entities because being in those higher dimensions in a way you will attract things much faster so hopefully this video was informative okay like I don't want to extend this too much again I just wanted to present just an eye-opener or you know just a pop of curiosity so feel free to like and subscribe if you like the type of content that I'm creating and well all I can say is you are loved and appreciated keep up doing the great work that you're doing and um, feel free to guide people towards my account if you think that uh, my introspection can actually help them feel free to share with others so that we can help raise the awareness of humanity all these being said you are loved and appreciated, take care of yourself and the others, 
become more introspective and you'll see that you'll discover the uh, answers as being uh, deeply entrenched within you. You are loved and appreciated. Again, take care. Have fun. Have an awesome day. Stay awesome. Ferenc Board signing out.